Dad, what are you doing? Not. Oh, fuck that, damn it! It's one of the kids! <laughs> Alrighty, tubers. Uh, haven't made a video in a while. It's been a few months. Uh, it's now the new year. I did finish my CB antenna stuff on my truck here. Just got this mounted onto the thing here. My cable used to be back there, but we've, I've ran it up through the bed and up through here, and now I have a five foot fire stick on there. I got a brand new Cobra LTD29. My dad got me one for Christmas. And it actually produces sound, so. This one was actually made in June of this year, so it's brand new. So that works, happy about that. Also got something else, this bench seat in here is gonna go. Cause I got a new seat, new couple seats here we're gonna modify, but what else do we have in here? Hang on. That's for the truck, cause I got a couple LED lights in the back I'm gonna pop in. This is for the Lincoln, cause I'm tired of the turbo ticker. I'll get to you in a second, hang on. But well, we just got came back from the junkyard and got a couple seats. I gotta get a new hinge for this side. These are easy to replace. I don't have to go get one of those. But they're just manual seats and that, that's kinda, I really didn't care too much about having fancy seats. Um, that's what's gonna go in the truck. I want for both sides, just need to be cleaned up. I got the carpet cleaner for that. So yeah, those are gonna, we're gonna figure out how to get those set up in the truck. <clears throat> and then we got Adam over here. We've been hooking up LEDs and stuff. Did you, are those the right ones? Work. I just gotta get this other one right. Where'd my keys go? Like, Damn it. We got LEDs in the back. He's got reverse LED, tail light, and turn signal LED. Of course, you guys know about those. And we have some new 194s that'll actually fit the license plate ones. The pilot LEDs don't fit. But well, the Pennsylvanians do. Yeah. Yeah, they get this nice. Yeah, that one I, I this one I gotta fiddle with a little bit. Now a good one in there now, it's just like, you know, I'm not coming out. Well, that seat might need to come over a little bit. That one I think is gonna be just fine. But otherwise, the seating position seems to be just fine. I don't have to make a put a spacer in there or something to level it out. But I kind of want to leave it like it is. I, I sitting in here feels fine. Oh man, so much nicer. I actually, have some support. Sits up higher. Um, this one over here is going to be interesting. The front piece, front bit, is a little off. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the, probably push it down. Maybe see what we got going on here. I might be able to flatten this out and maybe put a spacer or something in there. And this one will probably have a, also put a, put a bend into it. Maybe, maybe bring it over a little bit. But I don't know what, I'd like to keep it right about here because I can put, I, we can do a hole there and make a spacer. And then the backs. The back will be easy peasy. Oh, well, kind of called it quits uh, sometime last night. Still in a lot of off camera work. And here's what I got so far. This is halfway mounted. Um, I can't show you through the windshield what I'm trying to eyeball here, but I want it to. It needs to come over a little bit like this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, we have to space this anyways. 
It's just at the right angle. I have actually already bent these with the uh, crescent wrench. Got it at the right angle and everything. But this needs to be spaced. So I'll probably get like maybe three or four washers to space that. And then same thing with the back. Um, these bolts are just loosely in here. There's no nuts on the other side. But I'm going to space this maybe two washers two or three washers and then that should give us the side to side that we need um, it's a little offset from the steering wheel but sitting in it and the sitting position is is fine I suppose if I had to I could make new holes and move it over but it's enough of a difference where probably wouldn't want to probably won't bother with it I think it's fine and uh, you know, this seat is, is pretty comfy, actually. It's, it's nice and firm. It's got good support now. So, yeah, the whole seating position is, is actually pretty good. It, and it's a little bit higher than the bench seat, which is... I was worried about it with the seat, if that was going to be a problem or not. And uh, so far, it's not. Um, and then in comparison... We got this thing here the actual height mount to up here is is pretty much the same however this part all the springs and everything are broken in the ass of this so it squishes down pretty good and it's just it's just not comfortable and it's hurt been hurting my back and that's the reason why I've been driving the Lincoln over there but now, I'm going to be more inclined to drive this. And this is a little bit better on fuel, believe it or not. We're getting about 20 in that. And this is about uh, a couple more than that. Oh, hey, good cat. Shop kitty. Meow. Meow. What you doing? Huh? Good kitty. Meow. Yeah, you going to lick yourself? What you doing, huh? Are you being the exploratory kitty? <laughs> hey, don't no, don't you nitpick my box. Crazy cat. Kitty kitty. What you doing? She's she's smelling stuff. Kiki? Starts hook, hook, hook. Yeah, I got new seats. Giggity. Giggity. All right. So I went and picked up some hardware. I did neglect to grab um, washers to use the spacers but that's okay the ones I got for this seat here for the passenger I'll go get more of those washers um, plus I don't know how many I need for this side anyway so I'm gonna use what I've got to get this side complete and then I'll get more for this side for the passenger side as needed so we're gonna put this back I was gonna do the whole power deal but you know what I this truck has been manual everything since I got it and honestly I'm probably going to keep it that way just you know as far as seats and power windows and stuff it's just I hate having to reach over the other side to roll the window down but um, we're gonna have AC in this thing this year so uh, I'm not gonna be too worried about that there's a lot of garbage in here I'm gonna get the vacuum in here when we're done and clean this all out probably carpet bomb it too. Keep it simple and uh, um, you know I mean not a whole lot to go wrong. This is something I plan on keeping around for a while. I don't want to be like oh I need that one electric motor and it's like nah. I'm going to cut a little bit more. So I got this fancy knife here. This is homemade right here. This is made out of a leaf spring from a Super Duty.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this hole in the carpet and I'm going to put the seat back in, get these holes, get it lined back up. That way when I go to drill this one, it won't be like five miles off this way. All right, so I already made a mark right here with the Sharpie. Jesus, that was scary. Yeah, this, this knife actually cuts. Like, you know, a store-bought knife, they're just like, yeah, we're making this as shitty as possible. And I got some sound deadening under here, which, you know, I don't know if this stuff really works. Ready to put that seat back in and make our mark. Let's see, do I have a sharpie over here somewhere? I thought I did, but I don't. You know, these roads are kind of icy right now, and these people are just doing 100 miles an hour, and it's like, all right, if you want to be that one that's crashed on the corner, go right ahead. So I'm able to use one factory bolt hole here. Which is nice because this kind of like sets the location for it. Jesus Christ, it scared me. And you got that guy's really reefing on his rig. It's like, dude, it's fucking cold out. And those just kind of loosely go in. Let's see, I'll just take another new bolt here and stick her in. Is this even the same size? No, it's a bigger size. Draw out the seat a little bit. Okay, I think we got a, an establishment made. Brand new drill bits. Okay, so this is what I got for hardware. I'm gonna spill all the beans here. I got these big bastards for the other side just to spread the load. Now that guy's gonna be in a ditch. I got these. That was like eight bucks in hardware. I thought this was gonna be more expensive than that. All right, I'm gonna go find a socket for this and run that thing in there. So we'll get that started. And then we'll get another bolt and we're gonna have, we need at least, uh, we need two for the back for our Dumaheki. And then we'll put In like sand back here, I'm leaving this along the carpet here, and the, the sound ending acts as kind of as my spacer for that. Now what I want to do is take a look at something. Not oh, the window's defrosting. Let's see, it's just a little.
cockeyed still. All right, little bastard. I'm gonna go ahead and get this other side. Now this side I can't use a big washer. I think what we'll do is we'll anchor this one down, we'll get a, a nut on this other side, get that pulled through, and then see how we're looking for uh, angleage. And that squashed her down pretty good. Should be good. Can I just do that? Sure can do. Nice. Solid. Now that we have this mounted in here, we can find out that the positioning is horrible. No, I'm okay. So I can tell I'm a little off this way, but it's really not much different. Pedals still feel good. Shifter's in a good spot. Four by four shifter's in a good spot. Not too bad. I have a lot of room over here to put something while I'm driving like my shoes, but uh, I got a lot more room. Um, I'm a little bit, my arm is up a little bit further away from the door, but I'm up higher so I'm able to rest my arm there and it's actually, it's not bad. Um, I suppose um, if I really had to, I could probably move this over a little bit, which means drilling more holes. The other problem with that is right where this left side is mounted is the actual part of the uh, cab brace. So I'm actually drilled through the lip of the cab brace. So I've actually got two pieces of metal that I'm, I'm squeezed through on this bolt. So I've got a lot of support over here, um, but if I do move this over, it has to go past that rail but, you know, we're already here, so I suppose I could sit them a little bit more to the left. But overall, um, I like it. I like it a lot. The really hokey thing is going to be my subwoofer. So let's say Adam drives this thing, and he can adjust his seat wherever he wants. Look at that. And then... I'm not affected on the other side. <laughs> so yeah, I like that so cool. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. And what I'm really happy about is to not have a blown out seat. I've got good back support. Um, my butt is properly supported. Um, and the best part about this is I can um, you know, there are other Explorer seats that I could get um, that will still fit in here now that we got these holes made, at least for this side so far. Anyways, tubes, I gotta go. I gotta clean my nose. I got, it's cold out, and I'm kind of done for today. Um, if I did have to drive this somewhere, you know, at least I could drive myself around. Nobody, the seat obviously still needs to be fingered out. But yeah. I'm happy. See you next time.